This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of NRE Secrets, we're going to be discussing natural cleaners, natural hand sanitizers, and natural disinfectants that are safe for both you and your dogs and cats. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Hello, welcome back again to my channel. Um, I hope you are doing okay. If you are you know, in lockdown, in quarantine, you're dealing okay with that. Hopefully you're not um, one of those people who are sick with COVID-19 and I'm hoping if you are, you're recovering okay at home. First, my first big thing is just, you know, stay well, stay connected, and, you know, let's try to all support each other as we're, you know, dealing with this unprecedented pandemic. I got a great suggestion a few days ago about what is a safe natural disinfectant I can be using uh, for my dogs and cats that's safe in my house. Really good question, because I'm like, well, you know, I've got bleach. That is not safe for my dog. Um, I'm like, you know what? I should know that. So I'm like, okay, done my research. I got three things to show you guys. You're gonna really like them. And I've already started to use them. First, let's talk about cleaning, disinfecting, hand sanitizing. So to begin with, we're specifically talking about what can you put in, in your house, on your hands, um, in different areas to treat and or, you know, kill this COVID-19 virus if it happens to be there. Along with the many other bacteria and viruses that could be infecting your house, you know, say you've got a dog that's had parvovirus, for example. So the first big principle is it needs to be clean. Like before any of these topical disinfectants um, can actually be effective, all that grime and debris, you know, say for instance, the example of a dog that's had parvo and there's all that, you know, that, that diary, all those feces, that has to be clean first before the disinfectant can be effective. So that's one of the big principles of like, what is safe to be using as far as on your hands. Uh, like the simplest thing uh, to definitely prevent you, know, you come having virus on your hands, you touch your face, you touch your eyes, and it gets into your body. Easiest thing is soap. You are regularly washing your hands for the count of 20 seconds with soap. This soap that I have here is a natural soap. It's called Castile soap. Washing your hands with soap and water far more effective than using, say, these topical hand wipes. Number two, a natural hand sanitizer. As you know, these are in short supply throughout the world right now. Is there something that is effective that you can use and make at home that is also potentially safe having dogs and cats? There is. The safest one that's gonna evaporate easily, rapidly kill this virus is this. It is isopropyl alcohol or known as rubbing alcohol. So here's 100% rubbing alcohol. It's effective when it's diluted uh, down to 70%. So to make our hand natural at home hand solution, we're gonna be using three quarters of this. It's about 75% rubbing alcohol, ideally about 70%, but I've got a measuring spoon so I can only do about three quarters. And we are gonna be using one quarter of aloe vera gel. So it's a little bit soothing to your hands. It's not so harsh on it. We're starting with three quarters or three tablespoons of the rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna pour it into my, through my funnel, into my plastic squeeze bottle. One, and that two, there we have three tablespoons for rubbing alcohol. Then, 
we are going to use one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and it's going to make it a much more it's going to give the three it'll make it a 70 percent dilution of that rubbing alcohol it's going to be so much nicer to be putting on your hands as a hand sanitizer then lastly, for the sake of additional antibacterial, antiviral properties and giving it a nice aroma, I'm going to be using 10 drops of lavender oil. So I'm going to drop that in here. Here is our virucidal anti-COVID-19 ha natural hand sanitizer. Let's try some out and I'll tell you what I think about it. Put it on my hands. It smells kind of nice and not only is it killing that virus. Got the aloe in there, which is giving a little bit of moisture back to my hands. Feels good. It smells great with a lavender. 70% oh. alcohol has been shown to be effective against COVID-19. Um, as well, it is considered safe for pets because it's r rapidly effective, but also rapidly dissipates. Uh, so it's not something that has a long residual activity uh, that your dog or cat can get ingest and then be harmful to them. Number three, a topical disinfectant spray that is also safe for dogs and cats. Of all the different ingredients and products out there, the number one ingredient that is effective against most viruses, including COVID-19, uh, along with most bacteria, is hydrogen peroxide. The big thing about hydrogen peroxide is not only is it effective, it's also safe for our dogs and cats because it breaks down into oxygen and water. Uh, so it's something that we can spray on uh, the surfaces, for instance. Say you're concerned about you know, your door handles, for instance, or you're wanting to disinfect your house. Say you've been in quarantine, such as we have been for 14 days. Before our sun comes back, what could we use to go around the house and spray that is not bleach? Yes, bleach is effective, but it's a pretty darn toxic chemical uh, that's going to break down. We're going to breathe it in. Definitely not safe. You know, for Murray or Tula, my dog and cat, uh, to be exposed to. Hydrogen peroxide. No, it doesn't work quite as fast as bleach. It's got to be left on for a minimum of five minutes, preferably 10 minutes before you go around and wipe it off. But know that you can leave it on there because it's going to be turned uh, into oxygen and water. This is our 3% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to fill up our half a cup or 120 ml spray bottle. I'm thinking it's wise if I use a funnel so I don't get it all over the place. So there's our 3% peroxide. I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top. I'm going to also add in 10 drops of lavender. More than anything, because I like the smell of lavender if I'm going to be spraying this all throughout the house. It also has some antibacterial, antiviral properties as well. And I just really like having, having that smell throughout the house as well. So there's my 10 drops of lavender in 120 mils of hydrogen peroxide. I will find the lid, ta-da. And now we're ready to do some disinfection. Here's our 3% hydrogen peroxide. Here is my often touched silver play button. It's what you get when you reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for helping me get there. Because of that, before anyone is back in the house, i.e. that is not on quarantine, I want to make sure everything is clean. So I'm just going to do a little spray sample there. Um, you want to make sure that the peroxide itself is not going to bleach or stain anything and is also not going to corrode anything. The biggest thing with the peroxide, I find, is that it is, it's staining. So it turns stuff white, right? Hence, that's why it's in teeth whitener. You've got a stain on your clothing. You want it. You've got some white shirt, spray on some peroxide. Not so good if you have a brown sofa and you want it to stay brown. So we'll do a little test spray first. Looks really good as far as no issue there. So I'd be comfortable to spray this whole thing and where I've touched the corners especially. And I'm just gonna leave that on for a full five minutes before I wipe that off. Then I know that it's gonna be well disinfected and you know, COVID-19 free.
With the use of peroxide as a natural disinfectant spray, you've got to also remember to leave it for a minimum of five minutes, if not 10, then you know it's gonna be effective in killing the virus. If you leave it longer, that's fine. Eventually, it's just gonna break itself up into water and oxygen, which is fine to have throughout areas of your house. And do a test spray first before you're gonna use it topically. So just, if you're thinking about using it on some fabric, do a little test spray first, making sure it's not gonna turn your brown couch white. Well, thanks you guys for watching this edition. I'm doing okay, day five here of quarantine. Kinda got myself a little bit of a routine getting up, walking around with little Tula. We're doing our little CrossFit workout thing. She chases the stuffy. I do some sit-ups and push-ups and whatnot. And I'm just, you know, grateful that my immediate friends and family were all healthy and haven't been really, you know, made really sick from this virus. Cause I see in some areas of the world, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge issue. I mean, it's really causing you know, thousands of people to become ill. So stay healthy, stay well, do what you can to support yourself, your friends, your family. And, you know, let's just keep in touch and I'll keep making more of these videos that I'm hoping that you're finding helpful. Feel free to leave comments, etc. cetera, um, if you want to see more videos like this. And once again, thanks for watching. This is Dr. Jones.